The Words of This Life with Apostle Grace Lurega. The Gospel of St. John, the sixth chapter, the 25th verse. The Bible speaks of how a multitude was following after Jesus. They found him on the other side of the sea, and they said unto him, Rabbi, when comest thou thither? I believe they were looking for him. So they come to him. They are looking for another miracle of food, and he's telling them, look, you are seeking for the wrong thing. Don't seek me for the things that perish. Don't seek me for the food that is done with its own doing. Seek me for things that are eternal. Seek me for meats that are tagged to eternal life. They say, uh-huh, show us a sign of who you are. What we have is the testimony of Moses. For our father fed us through Moses' leading in the wilderness with manna. So they're saying, look, yeah, you did a miracle of giving us food for one day, but God through Moses did way bigger than that. He fed our fathers for more than 40 years. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ changed a lot of things in the spirit realm. When Jesus comes, he's trying to bring something that is eternal. He's trying to bring a revelation around what it means to stay steadily supplied by the hand of God. Now Jesus comes to them and tells them, look, I am that provision. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall not hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Jesus is trying to introduce to the church the power of fullness of God. Remember, in him, the Bible says, dwelt all the fullness of God body. So yes, we are speaking about provision, not just financial. Whether you're talking about the supply of graces, anointings, glories, wisdom, divine health, and all these other things. Wherewith you shall never hunger, nor thirst again. Join our online family. Spread the love. Follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Finero, make manifest.